everyone, I'm Rushlock, and this is Idle Champions. The new event is up for Winter Shield, as is a new character, a Dwarven Cleric. We're going to scroll down here. It swaps out with the Druid. Um, so here we have Barrowin. Dwarven Cleric. Uh, they have a heal and a damage buff. And we'll go into greater detail on that in just a moment. But I wanted to show real quick. There is a Winter Sale going for the next, I think, uh, week. So the Dwarf Pack, the Cleric Pack, and the Paladin Pack are on sale for half off. I bought the Dwarf Pack a long time ago. Uh, it's great value, especially at 50% off. I would definitely consider it. The uh, Winter Shield achievements are up. You can read them in more detail at your leisure. Uh, we can also go into the campaign map. Take a look at the campaign list. We're in the free play at the moment. You'll need 100 snowflakes, the event currency, to start the uh, adventure up to unlock the rest of these missions. The first one here, every 15 seconds, a different champion will be uh, nullified and just moves around every 15 seconds. Uh, I don't think this one's too crippling. It'll be more of an issue of just extending how long it takes to get to the level 75. Uh, I haven't read this one yet. The Cult of Daggers. Dagger throwing cultists spawn alongside normal waves and toss daggers at random champions in your formation. These uh, additional monsters do not drop any gold. Uh, again, this is another one that will just extend how long it takes to reach 125. I don't think it's a really hard um, piece of content to get past. And then the last one, only champions with strength stat of 13 or higher can be used. This is interesting. Uh, it's going to really change your approach at setting up your formation. Um, I've looked into this in any great detail. The first time I've looked at this mission uh, requirement in the first place. And, and we'll only need to get to 150, which is much more accessible than trying to get to uh, 175. So... I like the, I prefer the more restricting um, challenges and, and a lower um, level target than a higher level target that's just you know, easier to push it because then it's just time consuming. There's no real challenge or, or game interaction to it. But there's the campaign. We're in the free play, just farming up favor. Um, lastly, for the next, uh, let's see, 32 hours, you can get a 40% bonus to any chest that you purchase. So... The reason that's relevant at the moment is we have the new champion, Barrowin, and, let's see if I can find them, uh, Dritzt is out now. And I have a lot of empty gear slots. I've never had two characters to gear up at the same time since I started the game. Uh, so, the chests have a lot more value than they normally do. Some people have plenty of time to uh, farm bosses for gems and then turn them into chests. That's perfectly fine. If you lack the time to do so, uh, picking up the chests, especially while they're on the bonus promotion, is, is, a, is a great idea. Um, now let's look at the, the cleric a bit more, Barrow and the new character. So, let's go to the upgrade, start at the very beginning. Barrowin, from what I've seen, has basically two abilities you want to pay attention to. Uh, one, they're a healer. They heal anyone in their column uh, every time they attack. Uh, later on, it turns into a shield with Shield of Faith. And then their other buff to be uh, aware of is Blessed Hammer. So Blessed Hammer, whenever Barrowin attacks... Uh, they bless all adjacent champions, just like the other cleric, where everyone within one, one uh, square or one position will get the buff. Um, it'll also stack multiplicative, mul multiplicatively. Uh, the, the, the niche or the, the hook to this, or the difference in it, while Celeste's buff is always on, Barrowin's is, gives them like a charge, like gives them a, like a, like a buff token to use until their next attack. Um, and it will, st uh, it will stack up if the attack speed of Barrowin is faster than the attack speed of your main damage carry. So if you find a, a damage carry that has a long charge time or a longer cooldown on their, their attacks, uh, they would synergize very well with Barrowin. Um, and then after that is just, you know, champion increases and um, nuances and changes to the, to the current abilities. Uh, their alt, which I haven't fired off yet, we're still like two levels away from a boss, but we're going to read it here. Holy Weapon. Barrowin infuses her Warhammer with Holy Energy and then tosses it at a random enemy. So whenever you see a random enemy, to me that automatically translates to save this for when you're trying to clear a boss. Um, I, I couldn't imagine wanting to rely on this for pushing a, like a, a minion wave like we're on right now. So definitely save this for your boss pushing. Uh, for the next five seconds, that enemy takes additional damage when it's attacked by other champions. Which, of course, is, is mostly relevant to your, your damage carry. Um... This is like a good boss clear ability. Um, my Barrowin has has no gear right now, so it's not like something I would, I would typically use in my formation. This is for the purpose of the video. But I wanted to show in this particular formation, I've kept her in the same column with the other dwarf, because they have a, a column-based buff system. Um, but more, more importantly, you just want them to be adjacent to your damage carry, to keep applying that buff. One little nuance, because it won't be visually obvious, 
the buff that she's applying to Hitch, and by extension, then the Paladin and then the other uh, the other dwarf. Um, there, there's no visual representation of the buff, so you'll see a a buff in the listing. Let's get to the next zone here for Hitch. So if we go to Hitch and we watch the the incoming effects. You'll see that it'll change here in a moment. I think it stays down here. There it is, Blessed Hammer. It'll pop up for a few seconds and they attack. But it doesn't actually change any of their, their sheet damage. Uh, you just have to know that, that it's happening. Now, the notification in, in the incoming buffs might be confirmation enough that it's actually functioning. You know, there, Maybe there's a bug, maybe there's not a bug. I have no idea. I'm not saying that there is or isn't. Just that there's no other way to know uh, the buff's effectiveness in, in the current setup. So we'll keep an eye on that. And if, we, if anything changes, we'll, we'll update you guys. But new events. Winter Shield is up right now for the next, I think, uh, yeah, almost 12 days. So almost two weeks of this event. Uh, so get your 150 pushes as soon as you can. I'm already at 134 on the base push. Um, I'm sure I'll hit 150 on this one. Uh, I need to hit 175 on the free play to get the achievement, I think, for here. Um, after that, then it's just farming currency to get access to the other missions and knocking those out as quick as possible. Uh, the winter sale, again, is up for another week. Uh, the chest sale is up for another 32 hours, I believe. Is that correct? Yes. We'll say 32. Uh, it might be 34. Math is hard, but I'm pretty sure it's 32. But that's everything, guys. That's the winter event, the new character. As always, if you have questions, comments, anything you want to share, put it in the comments down below, and we'll see you all for the next video.